Hello again, everyone. It's your furry face friend, the Mad Kid, coming to you once again from the claustrophobic, cluttered confines of the Man Cave to bring you a Mad Kid's tech discovery update. Today, I'm going to show you how to wire an external microphone like this one to your cell phone camera to get better audio quality on your video records. Coming up on this Mad Kid's tech discovery. So we all can admit it. We've seen a lot of web videos where the video can be awesome, but the audio sucks. I mean, how can it be good when the microphone's way over there on the cell phone camera that's recording it? Well, these are a couple of different ways you can get a microphone connected to your cell phone, the microphone right up next to you to get better audio quality simply by wiring it in with an adapter of some kind. A couple of weeks ago, I was just searching around online for an even better solution to the one I've been using for a couple of years, and I discovered on Radio Shack's website this little doohickey which takes the iOS port or the TRRS port, that's the type of connector, and splits the audio that goes in and out of your phone into two separate plugs. The green is a headphone out, the red one is a microphone in. And it works on the premise that those little, you know, little uh, headphone mic things for hands-free talking do, the little mics here and that thing's here. Anyway, same kind of idea, but you can now separate them yourself. And as long as you've got a one eighth inch plug connector that goes to your microphone, you're all set. That's probably the only added expense to the around six bucks you're going to spend on this little tiny doohickey from Radio Shack. Anyway, it's tiny, but it's worth the six bucks. There's no question about it. And it allows you, again, to connect on a one eighth inch input jack directly to that microphone input port on your phone. Makes your phone or your iPad a digital recording device. It's awesome. And even in stereo. So it's really awesome. That's one solution. It's cheap. doesn't require any external power. And it works pretty regularly. I've had a little bit of issue with it with my Android phone, but it's spotty. I'll figure that one out. You know, anyway, it does work. Another solution I had, I discovered it a couple of years ago, was the iRig Pre. It's a little box, powered, takes a 9-volt battery, and you got to put it in the back. But it'll, it does the same sort of thing. Basically, a TRRS plug, which means tip, ring, ring, sleeve, if I haven't explained that already. The same as the iOS port on your phone, your Android device whatever, and it allows you to plug that in, and then you connect an XLR jack that typical microphone uh, type things use. Boom, right there, you connect it, you're good to go. Plug your mic in that you probably already got, and you're, you're off to the races. Anyway, it retails for about 40 bucks. There's other similar little boxes out there in the market that do the exact same thing by other makers, and that's about what you're gonna spend, around 40 bucks to connect the microphone externally to your cell phone microphone. Now, the obvious solution, is to use the drop mic on your headphone style mic. That is another solution that works perfectly well. They're gonna see you wearing the microphone, but you got one of the little clip styles, little clip ones on, you can put it on your collar, just like a lavalier microphone, and you're good to go. Problem is the wires aren't none too long on those, and chances are you're gonna to have to only have the phone about four feet away, so it's kind of hit and miss. But anyway, that's a couple of ways to make better audio on your cell phone videos, simply by wiring a microphone externally into your phone, using one of these TRRS adapter type scenarios that I've kind of quickly described here. If you have any questions, you can email me at madkidjedi at yahoo.com. I'll do my best to answer them to you, uh, for you. Uh, this has been another Mad Kid Tech Discovery Update coming to you from the Man Cave Studios. And, um, and next time we have something to share with you, we'll do it again.